my brief message to you today, friend, is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. And we've been preaching in Cork City and in different parts of the world for many, many years. And this gospel message is still the same today because in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8, it says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. See, he's a merciful God. How can he forgive such evil people, such dreadful people on the earth that have done awful things? I don't know, I can't explain it, but I know one thing. If you repent of your sin, he will forgive you because it's a promise in his word in the Bible. You know, if we confess our sin, he's, he's faithful and just. You can be born again. You can walk in a new life with God. And I don't, don't take one. All right. So the good news is that when you open the door of your heart and Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If anyone opens the door, I will come in and um, I will... I would, if you like, have friendship with him. But you see, we've closed the door of our hearts on God. Friend, the time is coming when you must wake up from your sleep and your slumber. Wake up, O sleeper. Rise up from the dead and Christ will shine on you. You don't want to die in your sin. See, this is the great news of the gospel. Jesus Christ did not come to condemn, but to save because we're already under God's anger because of our sin because of the things we've said and done we were born in Psalm 51 the psalmist said I was conceived in sin we were born in sin now you have reasoning you can make a, a rational decision as an adult to come back to God to Jesus Christ oh yes friend there is a new life for you today there's a life for you in heaven when you die and everybody will die. You notice people are not living like in the Old Testament. They used to live to be 900 years of age. Nobody lives that long anymore, friend. People are dying much younger. Because maybe the processed food, I don't know. Maybe it's genetic, I don't know what it is. But you must be born again. You must get ready to meet with your maker. Prepare to meet thy God. The clock is ticking. The time is running. I'm going to read something now just to encourage anyone here today who needs to know Jesus Christ. And you can come and ask a question. Or you can come and we can pray for you. But you must make your own peace with God. We can't do that for anybody. You may be a religious person today. Some people think they are Christians automatically because they come from a Christian family or had Christian parents. And others presume that attending church and being baptized and making communion qualifies them as Christians. Though some of these things are important, it doesn't save your soul. We must, to be right with God, we must come back to Christ. Because he is the one who shed his blood for our sins on the cross. Not the Pope or the priests or anybody else, but Jesus himself. If you're living in a life of immorality today whatever shape it takes you need to come out of the darkness and into God's light if you're living a life of idolatry before God you see the Ten Commandments you shall have no other gods before me you shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart soul and mind have we done that of course we haven't it's impossible no matter how hard you try you cannot love God the way he, he requires he must come into your heart. You must allow him to come in to your life. We bless you today, friend. There is a future for you today. There is a hope for you today. Through Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. There are many ways to hell. Many roads to hell, but one road to heaven. Which road are you on today, friend? You can change your, your direction, your route, and your destination today by turning back to Jesus Christ. He's a wonderful Savior. He is the best friend that you could ever have in your life. Yes, He is the one who redeems your soul from the pit. 
who redeems you from the last eternity. Many people say we can't know where we're going to go after we, after we die. I want to tell you, you can. You can know for sure where you're going to go. Read your scriptures, read the Bible. There's two destinations, friend. There's heaven and there's a lost eternity in hell. It's very important to choose the right destination. Would you get on a bus without checking the number? Check your passport. Would you check your passport before you go to the airport? Make sure you have a passport for heaven. You do not know the hour when you will die. Nobody knows the hour when the Son of Man will come. He will come at an hour you don't expect. He will come like a thief in the night. Friends, this is a very religious country. And it's very idolatrous. It's a very idolatrous country. Today, come back to the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Trust not in your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge God. And he will keep your path straight. Lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge God, and he will keep your path straight. Many people have gone down the slippery road because of decisions, wrong decisions. A decision to follow d d Satan. Choose God, choose life, choose Jesus today. He has the plan for you, friend. For salvation, for education, for the correct relationships. It's not that nothing bad will ever happen, but he will keep you from all harm. He will keep you from death, friend. You know, it says in Psalm 121, I lift my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Did you know that in the beginning when God created everything, he said it was very good. Yes, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom was good. But then in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 6, it says he made a man. And that was the end of it. It's been downhill ever since. Because of the disobedience of the man, we have wars. We have all sorts of diseases. We have the fall of man. And eventually death, of course. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. But that's why you have to die. Because of that Adamic nature, that that sin in that garden of Eden you can explain it any way you like but man will not be here in a few years time there's no doubt about that today be reconciled to God humble yourself under God's mighty hand and he will lift you up in due time praise God turn back to Jesus Christ turn back while you have time friend turn back while you have life you don't know if you'll be able to do it tomorrow do it today I want to encourage you but before you get to the end of that street Make your peace with God. Say, Jesus, have mercy upon me. Save me from my sins. Save my soul from hell. Before you get to the end of that street, reconcile yourself back to God. He will not turn you away, friend. He said, I'll never turn away anyone who comes to me. He will not turn you away. Your family might turn you away. The school might turn you away. The employer might not give you the job just yet. But Jesus said, I will not turn you away. The question is, have you turned him away? Today is your day, friend. Come back. Come back and be born again. Be saved and forgiven. Do not trust in your religions. Protestant, Catholic, anything you care to name will not save a single soul. Because all our sins were laid on the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the man from Galilee, he came to wash you from all your sin a stranger came from Nazareth to visit us one day he, he showed us how to love he taught us how to pray and anyone who came to him he never turned away Jesus the saviour of the world God bless you my friend